Hello on the clock, and we're going to do an oyster this time, an oyster shell. Um, I've actually never. Can you sense thunderness in my voice? <laughs> right, give it a shot. All right, so. Somewhere between an avocado and a mango. <laughs> Actually, I'm not a fan of eating oysters, so a couple seconds here. Done sketching that out. Didn't need a whole lot of time to do that. Um, I am going to grab some blue. Uh, ultramarine blue. I'm going to put a little dab of that on the plate. And I'm also going to uh, put a little bit of the brilliant blue, brilliant blue, I think, and the branch of painting, I guess. And we're going to start by putting kind of a outline in here, in the center spot. And I am kind of mixing those two blues together. And I'm using, again, the same kind of like pointed tip thin brush and I'm just going to kind of create an outline here where I might want that blue to be and I did put, I don't know if I said this already, but I did put water on my brush for this one to kind of help that spread a little bit easier. I don't want it to be intensely saturated. So we're just going to do that first. And maybe put a little bit over here too to kind of give us some insights as to the edges of of the oyster. And then I'll probably just put a little bit of blue along that just here. The reason why I'm actually putting this in now is because I do want it to kind of have a little bit of an outline. Uh, but I don't want it be a strong outline, so when we paint over it in the other solid color that's going to go on top, it'll probably be like that aggro or white. Um, I can easily really nice thin line around them. All right. So up here we probably have a This is where the oyster halves connect, so they, they would likely be a little bit more crevices and things in this section, so that's why I'm going to add a little more of that blue up. Again, I'm kind of using the blue as like my darker color, meaning like shadows and the black and kind of outlining it in that way. Alright, so I'm going to pull in. Not do anything as far as wiping off the brush, and I'm just gonna go right along where I just put the blue and kind of just do little like almost hash marks. Not going straight up and down, I'm rather going kind of like this and then like that. So that's the hash mark. Feel to it. I am going to create a pretty subtle curved line here because that there's usually a kind of indentation where the I might be saying this wrong, so I'm sorry if I am, but the mollusk lives. Um, the whole thing may be a mollusk, and I'm just getting it wrong. I'm not a scientist, I'm not a mollusk. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. The living part lives in here. <laughs> kind of in this little bed. <laughs> so, still going to go through and kind of 
for the edges. A little bit of, I'm actually going to add a little bit of blue to my brush now too. As I, I'm losing some of that blue that was before. Just continue with that. I believe your edge probably along here would be a little bit there. So we're just gonna kind of thin that out a little bit as we go through here. And not get too crazy and kind of blur up in this corner. Is anybody watching along? <laughs> Do I have any of these? Okay, so we did have some orange from the last one that I think I'm just going to uh, bring to this as well. Get a little bit closer. And putting just a little bit of that orange, I think, in here would be nice. Because, as we all know, an oyster isn't one color on the inside. It kind of has an iridescence to it. That makes it really cool. Uh, kind of like the the pearl itself has like a very beautiful iridescence to it that often are found inside of the oyster. But the inside of the oyster will usually have some too. So again, kind of just going with like little hash marks. I am going to clean up the brush a little bit to put down some of this after that's a little bit more clean than muddied up with other bits of color here. Create that center. I'm just calling it a bed. <laughs> that center bed. I'll go through here and put some more blue back in in a bit. But first, I want to uh, create kind of that background I'm working on. Again, doing kind of like little hash marks. And then we're going to put a really dark bit right in here. Because this is legitimately where our little uh, our little pearl is, and I'm going to add a little bit of black to my palette, and this is actually called ivory black. So we'll add that black into where the blue is at, and it's starting to come together. Not too bad for my first oyster ever. <laughs> but I'll we'll put a little bit of black over here. Create some edge and dimension. And then a little bit in here. It's starting to come together a little bit. Now to give this a little bit more of a defined edge, we're going to do put some white in here. And I'm going pretty thick with my white. So I'm gonna kind of bring some of that thick white to the edge by pulling my paintbrush from the center to the edge. Again, we're talking about creating some texture. You want it to look like you're kind of looking into the oyster. Here. 
this too. Again, we're going to like abstract fill then something that looks exactly like real life. Applying, applying some of your paint across there. Create some dimension. We're going to put a nice bright girl in the center of this. So I put my little oil line there. Grab a different brush. Hasn't had a ton of paint on it. And we're gonna lay down a nice big glob of paint. Nice and there, just like a pearl. Has anybody ever opened up pearls? I'm sorry, open up the, the oyster and the clams to get pearls out. I know they have like parties and stuff to do. I'm putting in a little bit of black into the edge here to create kind of a rounded effect on the pearl. Are we coming together at home on the, the waster? What do we think? <laughs> I feel like my first oyster, not too bad, not shabby. I'm gonna add a little bit more black up here. Because like I said, that's the top where the pieces connect. So I do want, although we're not doing exact um, real life replica kind of painting here. We're doing a little bit more of like an abstract version of it. Um, I still want it to communicate like we are trying to make it look like a um, oyster. So I'm going to add a little bit of brown towards this too. The, these uh, paintings are actually going to be part of the same collection, so I'm going to try to pull some colors from one to the other. Uh, so then they become like a, a grouping or a pair. And this time the brown is acting as shows so much as it is acting as actual coloring. Maybe some blue dots too. I'm actually gonna cover up that one. And that one. I'm 
because I'm going to come back through and I'm going to put a couple of extra orange ones over here. That looks good. Alright. Add a little bit more highlights and this one will be done. To get a little bit bigger and putting in my paint here and I did that purpose so then I can try to create a little bit of texture it's kind of abstract look <laughs> all right so there's our oyster how did you turn out does it look like an oyster? An egg? What's yours look like? <laughs> I'll be back at, let me think, uh, 2.30. So in a few minutes with another.